Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about a vehicle that I've heard a lot about. It seems to be making a lot of waves in the industry. It's the Honda E. It's been in the news quite a bit because of its impact on the design side. So I'd like to review the design of it, go into a bit of the details and talk our way through it and see what's good and what's bad about it. Typically as designers, we try our hardest to make everything as good and as cool as possible. So let's see what we can find out about it today. First impressions when I start looking at it is it definitely has a look to it. It's distinctive. I wouldn't say uh, on first viewing this is a Honda because Honda has taken a, a direction now that is for me um, tough to accept. I mean, their, their designs currently on the road today are extremely busy looking. There's so many lines on them that I don't know how a car with that kind of design language can last more than a year. So the first thing about the car here is I see an extreme example of simplicity in a positive way. Distinctive and unique. Simplification is one of the hardest things to do in design, I think, because in this day and age, people expect content, they expect uh, advancements in, in features and things like that. The challenge is to take all of that content and not overload the the, the client or the, the driver with that, that much information. So how do you keep that content and at the same time simplify it in a way that it makes it easy for the for the eye, easy on the eye and easy to, to operate. So they've done a, fantastic job with the detail around the headlights to make it look simple but actually it's about as high tech as we as we as we get in this day and age again i hate the word retro but there is a feel that this car has been done in the past in a in a different way they're related for sure being able to update that i see that um, as, as a huge step forward as we as designers don't don't tend to go backwards we go forward so anything that a journalist calls or a, a observer calls a retro design that's a bit of an un uneducated opinion i would say because retro means designing something it, it, going backwards i would imagine the inspiration of uh, or the uh, taking inspiration from the past to make something more futuristic that that is not what we call retro that's not a retro thing this this new one this honda e is definitely a futuristic interpretation of a, of a Honda Civic. So forget ever calling cars that take inspiration from the past retro designs. That's uh, that's just um, not an intelligent way to describe design. It's obviously an urban vehicle. It's, it's designed for the city because you can tell by the compact dimensions of it. What's fantastic is it looks like a car. We're running the risk now of our cars turning into things that look a bit transformer-ish transformer like, and almost to the point where they're so aggressive that it's hard to, to fall in love with them. It doesn't look overly soft and, and, and feminine, and it doesn't look too masculine at the same time. So it's a, it's a, it's a pleasant looking car. You know, you can say that round headlights are an old way to design lamps, but there's nothing old fashioned about the headlights or the graphic on the front of this car. I'm loving the two-tone look by splitting the car up into two colors. I wouldn't say it's a trick. It's a, it's an interesting idea to give the car a feeling of lightness and uh, they've done it very, very well, very professional. I would put it in the class of design that looks like it could stand the test of time for at least a, a decade and still look fresh. the interior the fact that they've moved away from the traditional materials that we're using today this looks like a fresh new forward-thinking interior a bit of mistake i think on the color pattern they look a bit dull this car here is absolutely a, i wouldn't say a toy but a serious toy they should try to offer something that has a bit more of a popular more lively interior so that basically if you wake up in a bad mood and you get into the car the colors are bound to liven you up and and, and give you a and a better start to your day. They look a bit dullish, but that's easily done, obviously. Another thing I think is, is very attractive on this car, even though it's a small city car, it appears that the driving position, uh, the actual, what we call the H point, hip point, is fairly high on this car, which means you're sitting upright. And I love that because on a car like this, especially in a city environment, you want to be able to 
feel like you have what we call a command driving position it means you're 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 in control of the of the view very well you have a a, a great view of the road and, and and the environment around you on the side so sitting high gives you that that feeling of a bit more of a safer feeling and as you're looking forward in this car one of the most distinctive features i've ever seen is a plane fully loaded with screens it's, it's simple enough not to distract the driver which is very important i like the steering wheel two spoke steering wheel so that's great what i'm starting to really appreciate and understand is that the Passenger seems to have been given quite a bit of consideration because so many cars, majority of them today, sort of just give you a second seat next to the driver where the passenger is expected to sit there and be quiet and uh, don't distract the driver. But they have their own entertainment uh, features. And uh, that is something I've always thought uh, we should consider. So my overall evaluation on this Honda E is that I would give it even a 10 out of 10, being that it looks like a, oh! So my overall evaluation of the Honda E is that it's absolutely a fantastic car, uh, maybe even a 10 out of a 10, because it uh, really combines all the things that I think a, a car should have. It looks like a car, it looks like a concept car on the road, it does everything it should do in, in a city or urban environment. It's attractive, it's appealing, it's got uh, a very um, desirable feel or karma about it. Um, the look is definitely distinctive and uh, especially for a company like Honda, it relates to Honda, it could only be a Honda. And I think they've done quite a few things right. There are ways to upgrade the design, obviously, in terms of materials, but in general as a car with with uh, considerations for great proportions and great ways to uh, to operate the vehicle in terms of ergonomics. I think they've done a, an ace job on it. So I, I really like this car and uh, I wish I had one. <laughs>